this cool card. When we're going to present a dashboard, usually we want to show numbers, KPIs, metrics, the ones that are important to the viewer. And with the scorecards, we can show a single number or a percentage or a ratio or a currency to the viewer of the report. So we can have other types of chart to drill down, to show the trend and the pattern over time for that number, to break it down by different dimensions. But the scorecard is the main way of showing KPIs and important metrics, right? It can show a compact number. So it's a feature, it can make it a smaller. If it's a really large number like this one, it will show 200K, for example. You can adjust the decimal precision and it can be a number ratio or currency like this one and this one. Now, on a scorecard, another thing that we can do, we can use a scorecard to compare the current number for the date range of the report right now, which might be like, for example, last 28 days to the to another time period, right? It could be the previous 28 days, previous period. It could be previous year, the same range of dates uh, last year. So it, if it's January this year, it will be comparing with January last year. And it does it automatically. I know that in some other tools, like maybe RBI or Tableau, there might be some data preparation necessary, defining the date range period, but Data Studio goes into the data set and looks up the values for those date ranges, compares, and finally calculates the percentage or absolute change compared to the other date range. The two other date ranges that we can apply is a fixed date range. So we can have a number that always compares to January last year, no matter what date range is right now. So like, it's a rare case, but it is possible. And we can have advanced and dynamic date ranges as well. During this presentation, sometimes I quickly jump into the edit mode of Data Studio to show you where the settings are, but we don't spend so much time just tweaking those settings. It, we can do it later on. We have the scorecard or any other chart that supports date range comparison. Under the date range, we have the default date range that it's either a custom one or it's automatic one that is tied to the date range selector on the report. But underneath, we have the comparison date range we can select if you do not want it at all or it's previous period or previous year, which are automatic fixed, which allows us to set a start date and end date in a static way and advance, which we will look at in the future sessions, which allows us to set their start and date in a very flexible and dynamic way. So this is where we set, enable, and configure comparison date range for any chart that supports it, okay? And finally, a scorecard can show conditional formatting, changing either the font's color or the background color of the scorecard according to certain criteria. So on this one, for example, I applied a conditional formatting that if the value, if the value of my metric is less than 5%, then I want a yellow background. We can apply multiple conditional formatting rules to a single scorecard. So I could have said that under 5% would be yellow, under 1% would be red, and anything more than 5% would have a green background. So quickly communicating the status of a metric or a KPI to the report viewer. We can also do it only with the font if we don't want to be super flashy and uh, highlight things so boldly. So here in this case, if revenue is more than $2,000, which is, is uh, of course more than $2,000, the font will be green. And we can also access the settings for condition formatting under this time tab. So whenever the scorecard selected or any other charter components that supports conditional formatting, we can select it go to the style tab, and here we can add different conditional formatting rules. So value equals to greater than, for example, a number, and then we can decide the cell itself, or if it's a table, maybe the whole row, what do we want to be the color of the font, and what do we want to be the color of the background? We will cover conditional formatting in much more depth because there are some complications around it, especially with tables, and uh, having multiple conditional formatting applied, which we need to be aware of. But this is a scorecard. This is how we show numbers. All good? Yeah.